it is. That's the game you play. Fuck, that was yeah. crazy, yeah. though. It and then crazy. Izzy losing in the fifth, too. Pa both pound for pound guys. And, and right when, right when it was about to happen, John Anik actually set it up. He said about like that, you know, he could coast here, but oh. that's not what he's made of. For uh, Kamaru, I think it was like that he could. No, I think it was like not quitting. They t I think he was talking about Leon. See if you can find it. That was. It, it was like it was. A, I don't want to fuck it up. I already fucked it up. But it was like. <sighs> No. There was a quote that he said right before Leon knocked him out. It was like he was kind of setting up that Leon's not going to quit. Yeah, prophetic call and the greatest knockout call in UFC history. Yeah, there it is. We'll, we'll hear it here. John Anik's the best of all time. He's so fucking good. Right as his hand gets raised, he's going to win. Minute 12. Oh, God. Low kick, setting it up already. Throws that little low kick. You see how he's fainting that left hand? That left legs, trying to get a reaction out of him. Nothing, no reaction. That is Ooh. not the cloth from which he was cut. Bam, and then the knockout. It's the perfect call. It's, it's the greatest cool. call ever. That was but so that is beautiful. not the cloth from which he is cut, and then a perfect head kick. Bro, that's Shakespeare. Yeah, that's beautiful. That's Shakespeare. That is fucking. John that's is fucking that man. gave me goosebumps. Oh, God. It's the greatest call oh. of all time. It's the greatest call of all time. Yeah, John Anik's a legend, dude. It, that, but that's the greatest call of all time, right there. Yeah. I mean, it, it, it doesn't get any better. Every now and then, like, the words and the moment line up, and you're like, that's the greatest call. That's goosebumps. One of the wildest head kick knockouts, I think, the most important head kick knockout ever. <laughs> ever. Ever. Yeah, has to be. Pound and the, pound. the most shocking, where, where he, he just lands it with a minute to go in the fight, with a fight where he's clearly losing. Holy shit. And there's this pound for pound headshot dead. Yeah. I was like, oh, oh shit. <laughs> uh, it was crazy, too, because I was in Utah at Elevation. Kamaru trains in Denver at Elevation. And uh, Leon, to go five rounds, was getting grappled. And to be able to pull that off smooth still was so fucking impressive. He's so technical, man. Yeah. On his feet, he's so good. There's some video of him hitting the pads, and it makes you want to quit karate. Really? Well, watch this motherfucker hit the pads. He, find, like, Leon Edwards hitting the pads. I remember seeing him, like, do the Dude, elbows and shit. he's so smooth and powerful, Ooh. man. Yeah, I stood... Yeah, that's... Give me some volume Boom. on this. He's a big guy, too. <laughs> Bro. Ooh, 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 ooh. Bro, that is fucking clean. Sp speed and power mixed right clean there. Clean technique, too. It's like p total efficiency in the way he's delivering that kick. Every move as he steps in with those elbows. I mean, that's going to be a massive, yeah, massive rematch. I yeah. know. That's in, is that the one that's in, oh, no, that's in London. That's right. And what Leon loves, too is that he did all of this out of his gym in England. He didn't yeah. have to move to America and join ATT or join one of the big gyms. Yeah. He did it out of his town. That's fucking impressive. That's fucking impressive. I could have done that in Montana. <laughs> <laughs> I could have done that in Montana.